Face it, Paul. You're burying yourself staying here with your mother. It's only temporary. She is not going to recover. Why should she? It serves her. She doesn't have to face the real world. She can work on her little designs, and then you deal with everything that's... Different. No, no, it's only until I get B.R.O. back on its feet. She's not gonna let you go. What do you want me to do, huh? Dad? Abandon her? Let me ask you something. When you were in Nepal, on Mount Kinchinjunga, how did you feel? Good. So good, but you felt alive, powerful. You could see your future and knew how to make it yours. Yeah. That's what you can't abandon. Your vision, your power. There's more than one road to the future. Well, will that road take you where you want to go? Don't be afraid, Paul. You've seen your future. Make it yours. Well, like you did? I've made mistakes, but now I'm here to help you. And you know this, your mother is no saint. Uh, she needs me. What she needs to do is accept what has happened to her and move on. Don't enable her, Paul. Don't let her play to her weakness. You'll regret it. Do you have any regrets? No, none. Because of you, because of your strength. You're like me. You need a challenge. No, you need I a am mouth. not like you. I hate you. Better that than hate yourself. And that's what's going to happen if you stay here in this garden with a woman who's closed herself off from the world. Think about it, Paul. Fetching tea for your mother for the rest of your life. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, I just don't like spiders that give me the give me the creeps. Um because <clears throat> you haven't had time to air out the place yet, but it's gonna be great. It's actually fantastic. It reminds me of one of those uh mansions from the 30s. You know, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Remember that one? It's classic. I brought you something, actually. Ah. Pineapple, it is. You don't eat it. Contrary to what you might think, it's kind of a welcome to your new home. We did this back at my house. We welcome everybody with a pineapple, like on the welcome mats. You see pineapple? So, um, welcome. Pineapple. This place is great. I'm sure once you get, you know, What do you want? Ah. I, I want to apologize to you. For what? Can I get you something? Would you like a, a drink of water? I don't mind. I'll go get it for you if you want. You can tell me why you're here and then get out. Oh, God, I feel so bad. I feel so bad about what happened to you. I really do. How comforting. It's partly my fault what happened. told me that you helped, that you found those photographs of Craig and Carly. I did. Yes, I did that. But this was before that. Remember that day you came back and you saw me talking to Craig at the Lakeview, the suite? Yes. I had just found out he was stealing your money. Good one. <laughs> Way up high. Where it stops, nobody knows. Go ahead. So how would you like to go on an adventure? Hmm? Someplace new where nobody knows us and we can be anything we want to be. Imagine that. Walking down the street, just the two of us, and all anybody would think is there goes that mommy with her little boy. 
don't they look nice? <laughs> Does Jack come too? No, honey, I... I think Jack has to work. You know, he has a very important job as a police officer. But he'll come and visit you, I bet. And you can show him all around our new place. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Just wait a second, okay, sweetie? Oh, Boy, if I'd known I was going to get this kind of action, I would have stopped by earlier. <laughs> you okay? Well, you've been reinstated, haven't you? I, I heard that they gave you your badge back. And isn't that fantastic, Parker? Daddy's back on the force. Jack told you, huh? So, so how does it feel to be back in charge? Well, as one of my first official duties, I'm here to tell you that in light of Owen Dever's confession, the department has decided to drop all charges against you in connection with the attempted murder of Barbara Ryan. Well, it's about time. Well, you can blame the newly reinstated chief of detectives. I've been a little busy. I'm real happy for you, Al. Really? You don't look very happy. You look like you've been crying. We split up. Jack just left. Oh, come on, girl. Oh, I know, I've said it before, but this time... I think it's really over. Jack, where have you been? I paged you an hour ago. Oh, sometimes life gets in the way, Margot. Not that I have much of life left. What's up? We got company, so whatever it is, just drop it outside. The commissioner's here. They said they were going to call me first. And he's got two suits from Internal Affairs, so I tried to stall him. Not tonight. Please, not tonight. Sorry for the inconvenience, Detective Snyder, but we need a few answers. Starting with why you withheld evidence that contributed to the critical injury of an innocent woman. Dixie Rinse and Reuse is pretty amazing, but can it stand up to the heat of a microwave? What do you think? New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. Any tougher and they wouldn't be disposable. This is New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. These are some of its competitors. How do they hold up to heat and moisture? Well, you tell me. New Dixie Rinse and Reuse. Any tougher and they wouldn't be disposable. That does help you find the love you need. Call for your free reading now. Is this one worth keeping or do I need to move on? He's so emotionally unavailable. You know what I'm saying? As far as commitment is concerned. Uh-huh. Because he's moody as hell. Oh, my goodness. His dysfunction from his family as a child was extreme. But a lot of that comes as a source from the mother, because you know what that situation is. I sure do. And as a result of that, he doesn't trust women very much. How do you know all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's Miss Cleo. It's amazing to me that you can... They didn't ask me anything about and him not, or... They're not going to. I don't play I was like amazed that. that you can pick up on this about this person. You hit the nail, like, right on the head. I'm really glad that I got through. You just cannot imagine what this means to me. Won't you call now for your own free reading? Call 1-800-400-0813. Come visit my website, misscleo.com, to satisfy all your personal psychic needs. Mr. Yoshida's fine sauces, unique and exciting new Asian sauces and marinades from a unique and exciting Asian man. Try some. Hi. Mr. Yoshida will thank you. Your taste buds will thank you. Ball breath. You could try covering it up with eau de toilette, but isn't it better to kill the germs that cause the odors? Clorox Automatic. It's like a germ-killing gargle every time you flush. After 26 years of marriage, Tom and I realized that we're a little different from each other, except for one thing. A doctor says we should both take a single 81 milligram St. Joseph aspirin, the dosage doctors recommend most for aspirin therapy. 
Today, one more bomb didn't go off. One more life wasn't cut short. Every day we're not in the news is the day we've won. This fall, meet the unsung heroes of the CIA. Welcome to the agency. Premier CBS Thursday, September 20th. You anything? Um, yeah, give me anything, as long as it's Italian. I'm Italian. Grazie. Do you accept lira? Lira, huh? I'll have whatever the ladies have. Of course, I use the term lady loosely. Well, of course, you use every lady loosely. Depends how tightly they're wound. I thought you were lost in the Bermuda Triangle. And I thought you were on death row by now. Uh, but I am free and you are back. So here is to my sister. Oh, to my brother. What is this? Chianti. It's Italian. <sighs> so was Mussolini. So are you celebrating your checkered past? Not so past. I've just been to Malta. The Bermuda Triangle and Malta, too. That was over a month ago. Me, a crash plane, a desert island, not that you care. Well, I was a little preoccupied with death row, which I have beaten, not that you care. So, you escaped the desert island and then went to Malta? Why? Well, Lily found out that Holden and Luke were alive and well and detained in Malta, so she headed there and Simon and I went with her. So Lily went to Malta, and Simon went after Lily, and you went after him. For your information, not only did Simon come and rescue me from that island, but somewhere in between a Maltese jail cell and a, um, opera house, he fell madly and deeply in love with me. Ah, uh, and where is he now? In Malta? Simon is still in Malta because he is a man of honor. Ah, so he's honoring Lily. You know what you are? The pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> well, at least I'm not Simonized. You may have beaten those charges, Craig, but how long did your marriage last to Barbara? What, a good ten minutes? Mm -hmm. And you were the first person she thought of when it was time to charge someone. So, don't lecture me, okay? You're not doing much better. I am loved. Simon may be in Malta, but he loves me. I'm not sure anyone loves you. You knew that Craig was stealing my money? Well, yeah. See, there was this uh, run on worldwide stock being bought with BRO money. Your checks, your signature, but I thought, no way, it's no way that it's you. Why would you try to worm your way into worldwide on the sly like that? So I confronted Craig, and that's why I was there. I told him to sell back the stock to me, or I would talk to you. And did he? No! No, he's a sly one, that husband of yours. He's I mean, ex-husband. Um, he got himself some leverage. And why didn't you come to me? Uh, it's not leverage, really. It was blackmail. <laughs> not against me. It was against Worldwide. And Lucinda had been going through so much already with Holden and Luke missing and the whole poisoning thing. And... So you decided to sacrifice me? No, no. Oh, my God, no. I didn't even know that he was going to set that bomb. But he didn't set a bomb. I mean, come to find out, he didn't do it at all. But uh, I'm just talking about me knowing about the money. That's why I'm here. The stock. The worldwide stock being bought up with the BRO money. I would buy that back from you and take care of it so I can take it off your hands so you don't have to I don't deal give with a damn about the stock. Well, I'm just saying, whatever I did or I... I didn't do. I hope it didn't make things worse for you. All right? I, 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 nobody deserves to be going through what you're going through right now. So really, if you need anything, I'd be more than happy to help you with anything. Is Paul around? Why? He sent me some flowers. Gorgeous flowers. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> to thank me for helping with the trial. And he also remembered it's my birthday coming up. Eek. <laughs> He's a good guy. Really good guy. 
You should be proud of him. How thoughtful of you to tell me so. So is he here? Or is he here? He's outside. In the gazebo. In the gazebo. I'll find it. Don't. You know, once you get finished with this place, it's going to be really nice. You know, you're very, you're a very creative woman. I love that, that clothing line that you have. It's, it's nice. This place is going to be great. Paul bought it for me. For us. All right. Enjoy the pineapple. <laughs> Just for show, though. I tried to kill you. Remember that? So don't think you can undermine me with all your fears for my future talk. I'll do things in my own way, in my own time, without any help from you. Then why did you call me back? I didn't. You need me, Paul. You're in trouble. You conjured me up. Pull me up from that little back room in your brain where you keep me stashed just in case. I'm happy to be here, happy to serve. I want what's best for you. I'm your father. But like it or not, I'm here. You call for me. Oh, I will not abandon my mother. Fine. Cosset her. Placate her. But you will. But don't forget why you're here. It's not to plant peonies. It's to topple Craig Montgomery. <sighs> Okay, so Craig shook you off. That doesn't mean you can't topple him. You can take him step by step. That's how you take him. Step by In time. Step. Now. When I get BRO back on its feet. And how are you going to do that? Hmm? By propping up a broken woman or by breaking her enemy? Both. I'll do both. <laughs> well, so far, all I've seen you do is hire landscape artists and pool attendants. That's not going to do you much good when Montgomery's got you in court. He's got the advantage. He's already made the first move. And I'll make the second. When? When I feel like it. You wait till you feel like it. You won't have any time left. Montgomery will be through with you. Oh, you go to hell. Hell can't handle me. Now you, you get off your duff and do something. <laughs> what? So you can come in here and swoop in and take all the credit? By all means, give me the credit, Paul. And you'll find yourself in a garden a lot more secure than this. They'll send in the men in the white coats, throw a net over you, and drag you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Paul? You okay? It's all about you. It's not about me. He's the voice of passion. There is no one more beautiful than He's the you voice of be. love. Presenting the best of Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross on two CDs or cassettes for just $19.99. Order with your credit card and get a free bonus album of Luther Classics. Always and forever. That's three beautiful albums for just $19.99. You got me going in circles. Then, audition other great love collections. Satisfaction guarantee. I'm a human, baby. So order with your credit card.
and get three beautiful albums. Call 1-800-440-7007 to order the best of Luther Vandross for $19.99 for two CDs or two cassettes. Use your credit card and receive a free bonus CD or cassette. Or send $19.99 plus $3.99 shipping and handling to Luther Vandross, Department 4, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. Or order online at timelife.com. Jay Bush here at the Old Bush Family Farm to introduce our new country-style baked beans. Roll that new beautiful bean footage. They're slow cooked with extra brown sugar and hickory smoked bacon, so the sauce is thicker and the flavor is richer. The secret family recipe is known only to me and my dog, Duke. And I know I can trust him. Okay, let's start the bidding on the secret family recipe. How does that have in the corners of a little lady in the back of a little man with a hand Duke. Uh-oh. Try Bush's new country-style baked beans. And you weren't aware at the time of the horse's demise that your wife in any way contributed? No. No, I, I didn't put it all together until I found my wife's stash of medication and it matched the analysis we'd done on the horse. And you said nothing to anyone at the department, despite the fact that a crime had been committed? It was clear to me that my wife was not in her right mind. And when she volunteered to be committed, it seemed at the time to be a good thing. Now, if I had known how deep her psychosis was or that she was going to make an alliance with Endeavor, then her mother stepped in with her own team of shrinks and basically cut me out of the loop. So. Nothing that you have said changes the fact that you failed to report a crime. No, sir. It doesn't. We've got what we need. Well, in that case... Well, uh, if... Moment, Commissioner. Uh, Detective, do you have anything to say on your behalf? I guess I got caught up in doing the right thing and lost sight of the law. I know that's not an excuse, it's just... She's my wife. I guess I was too close to it. I was trying to protect her. I figured she'd wind up in Oakdale Memorial any day. Well, I put her through an arrest, but clearly that was not my choice to make. You can't protect people from consequences. That's what I learned. I also learned that the law is there for a reason. Keep me from thinking too much. Just do what it says. And Barbara, it's so wrong what happened. She wanted to meet me at the boathouse because she needed my help. And she nearly died. Now, maybe if I'd reported Julia, the explosion wouldn't have happened. Who knows? But I don't know. I'll feel it for the rest of my life. What I'm trying to say is, I'm, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I should have reported the crime. And whatever you guys decide tonight, I'll abide by it. Thank you for letting me send my piece. Thank you, Detective Snyder. You don't mind waiting outside. We'll have our decision for you within the hour. I think it went really well. You took responsibility and you got one cop on your side, the guy who asked you to head It's over, say. Marlo. But thanks. Hey! You look like you've seen a ghost. This, uh, this place used to belong to my father. And now it's mine. My mother's. Oh, yeah. She told me. What, you saw her? Yeah, I bought her a pineapple. <laughs> a housewarming thing. Oh. Yeah. That's very sweet of you, Rose. Oh, well, not everybody likes pineapple. What? Did she say something to upset you? No! Oh, no, no, no. I totally understand after everything she's been through. Yeah, she's still in a lot of pain. And emotionally, she's... She's a wreck. You think? Uh, yeah, but... I understand. I mean, I'd be the exact same way, you know, if I went through something like that. But she's a trooper, your ma, you know? She's a fighter. She's got to prove something, too, that Craig Montgomery could not bring her down. Hmm. Well, that's the other problem. Montgomery. You just say the word and I am there. Worldwide, BRO, if we team up, Montgomery doesn't stand a chance.
It must be nice being loved. It is divine. That day that Simon flew all the way to that island to come get me, I... He kissed me like it was our last day on Earth. Simon Fraser, man of honor. Yes, he is a man of honor. And you deserve nothing less, Katie. I am very happy for you. I am. Why are you being nice all of a sudden? I'm always nice to you. I took you in. You and your husband I even gave the man of honor a job and look what happened. Hmm? <gasps> Grape juice. <coughs> Bartender, I'd like a real drink. How do you do that? How did you know? What? Uh, vodka neat, too. We were on the plane. We were about to take off, and oh, why did you have to start being nice? I could have pulled it off. What are you talking about? I flew halfway across the world. I crash landed a plane. I found his diamond. Yes, I lost it, but doesn't effort count for something? I got thrown in jail. I got kidnapped by thugs. I went to the opera, Craig. What else can I do for this man? Stop. Carly. You and Jack, you're in this for the long run. Things will change, they always do, and when you come around again, you'll have learned something. Well, maybe what we've already learned is that no matter how much we love each other, we can't be together. You don't believe that? Well, I don't know. You get to a certain point, how, how much can one person take? It's life, Carly. Life is hard. But don't you want to spend it with somebody that you can trust? I mean, because that's what it's about, isn't it? I mean, isn't it about who you can call at 4 a.m.? I can call you. I'm glad you feel that way. But I'll bet you a month's salary that you'd probably call Jack, wouldn't you? It isn't just about me. It's about Parker. He... Deserve something solid, you know, and I know that I could give it to him if I could just... You know, the problem with this town is that I have made so many mistakes and nobody seems to want to let me forget them. So, I, I was thinking... I mean, this is Molly's apartment. Maybe... Maybe we should go someplace new. Well, if you can afford it, why don't you do that? There's that new development over on Linden Lane. Not, it's not just a new apartment, Hal. A new town. A town that's not Oakdale. The same Caltrate that helps fight bone loss may help your colon, too. In a recent study, Caltrate helped reduce the risk of recurrence of colon polyps, a risk factor for colon cancer. The same Caltrate you take for your bones, now for colon health, too. Robert? Robert! What? If a clog does this to you, do this to a clog. Drano Max is thicker than professional strength liquid plumber, so it sticks to remove clogs better. So you don't get <laughs> bent out of shape. Relax. You've got Drano Max. SC Johnson. This scene was filmed using an extraordinary lip color. Max Factor's Lipfinity. A new long-lasting system with Permatone. First paint, then polish. While most lipsticks melt away, Lipfinity is semi-permanent. It lasts and lasts through almost anything. After eight hours of filming, I can vouch for that. New Lipfinity from Max Factor. Infinity. The makeup Infinity. of makeup artists. Messy babies? No problem. Introducing new Bibsters, a first from Pampers. A disposable bib that's so absorbent, they can drip and spill and dribble some more. Because after they mess them up, you throw them out. New Pampers Bibsters. Easy every step of the way. This Saturday. One day, one sale that's not gonna hang around. 
Super Saturday. Only at Sears. Blink and it's gone. The pain was awful. It got so bad I wanted to lie down. Then I rediscovered Extra Strength Bayer. Nothing's proven stronger, not even the leading prescription. And aspirin can help save your life. Bayer. Take it for pain, take it for life. room with ER and into the White House with the West Wing. Now executive producer John Wells takes you inside the life of one of the most powerful political families in the country, Senator Elliot Baines and his three daughters. Senator, these are the stats you wanted. Get back on the phone with King County. We need new numbers. Good luck today, Senator. Thank you. In the next great American drama. Hi, Elliot Baines, Thank like you. your vote. Citizen Baines, series premiere, CBS Saturday, September 22nd. This is your lifeline, which reveals your potential for success. This is your love line, which shows your capacity for romance. This is your pipeline to anything and everything that matters. No one covers local news like the News Sentinel. There's no sure way to the top, but this will help. No one covers local business like the News Sentinel. Call 426-NEWS to subscribe. The five-day forecast calls for a blizzard. Make that five blizzards. Call now and get your first month of Comcast Basic Cable for only $29.95 and installation for only $9.95, plus five free Dairy Queen blizzards. Comcast gives you great entertainment, news, and sports with channels like ESPN, Home and Garden, E, Comedy Central, CNBC, and more. So get your first month of Comcast Basic Cable for $29.95 and install it for just $9.95 and get five free blizzards. This offer ends September 15th, so call 456-9000 now before this blizzard blows over. Buddy Check 15 is a program to raise breast cancer awareness. Buddy Check 15 at Wayne.com. Brought to you by these participating sponsors, Fort Wayne Radiology and Vera Bradley Designs. At 5, an employment outlook survey shows less companies are adding employees. Plus, one man won the Powerball drawing. Hear what he's going to do with the cash. Richard Dreyfus and the Education of Max Bickford premieres CBS Sunday, September 23rd. Leave Oakdale. Come on, Carly. That's not the answer, and you the know it. The best it's... thing I could come up with right now. Running away. Come on, Hal. Do you really want that little boy growing up in a town where everybody thinks his mother's dirt? I, I never get a break. Even Craig Montgomery gets exonerated, but me, I'm on the cover of The Intruder, stealing one woman's husband, and then pinned up in courtrooms, stealing another. Stop laughing at me. <sighs> Carly, you and I are going to be having lunch when you're 75. And they'll write about it in The Intruder. Carly, as long as there are men and women, and I don't care if you move to the moon, people are going to talk. Well, at least I'll be able to get a job. And Parker can grow up without people always whispering about his mother. People who count don't whisper. Do you know you are the only person who didn't ask me about those pictures? Well, you said you kicked him where it counts. That's all that mattered to me. And that's why yours is the only opinion that matters to me. I'm not leaving without your blessing. Thank you, Ann Landers. Since when do you know anything about love? <laughs> oh, I've been amassing a catalog of everything that doesn't work. And believe me, believe me, chasing the object of your desire is definitely under doesn't. That's what Simon wants. He wants me to stop chasing him. That's what he thinks he wants. If you stop, he will miss you. I guarantee that. You've tried this? Here I sit. Waiting for your significant other to notice that you're gone? Clock is ticking. Mm. I gotta tell you, Craig, no amount of ticking is gonna turn Barbara around. No, that bomb already blew, but what's Barbara got to do with this? The object of your affection? Hmm. Oh, no, no. Yes, of course. I read about the trial. 
those kissy kissy pictures. You are waiting for Carly Tenney. No. I... Yes, you said we both needed to stop. Well, no, I meant you and Simon in general. You know, you make yourself a little less available, make him a little more jealous. I can tell you he wasn't happy when you flew away on that plane. Really? Oh, really. Yeah. You're just trying to change the subject. When's our hero coming home? Who knows? Well, look, listen. Why don't you go take a bubble bath, call room search. Feel better. So you really think you could get Carly Tenney away from Mr. True Blue Oakdale PD? Get yourself a manicure, too, huh? Again, I ask, why are you being so nice? When Simon was half out of his mind with fear that something had happened to you, I couldn't do anything. Now I can. So go on. So he was really, truly worried about me? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I take it back. You are quite lovable. So this, um, hard-to-get thing, you really think it'll work? Oh, I do. So why not give it a chance? Whoever she is, let her chase you. What about it, Carly? You tired of being chased? Now, where I come from, when you get in trouble, you call your friends. Look, Rose, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm not just being nice here. VRO owns a lot of worldwide stock. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. I, I, we just don't want it floating around out there, you know? I, mean, I trust you, but Montgomery? Uh, and whoever Montgomery uh, sells look, it to, look, I don't I know. I wish I could help you. It's just bad timing. Are you worried about your mom? Yeah. That is one of your nicest qualities, you know? <laughs> Most guys would have been out of town. You're a mensch. Yeah, well, it's also problematic. Now, I got a dictionary back home, leather binding and all that. That's one of those five-dollar words that nobody really knows what it means. It means I can't really go into it right now. Because mm. I... I don't really understand it. See, I... I have this idea that... It's my father. He never gave a damn about anybody. And obviously, I don't want to be like that. But at the same time... What if I'm making a mistake? It's too close, hon. I mean, it's your ma. Of course it's too close. But you know what? If Barbara, if she was in the driver's seat right now, she'd be going after Greg with both guns blazing. Because she's a fighter, you know? She's tough. Well, I hope so. Montgomery's suing us. For what? Conspiracy to commit libel, defamation of character. Ah. Oh, well, he doesn't miss a beat, does he, that creep? And that's why we can't go on him right now, because it'll feed right into the lawsuit. Oh, which could drag on forever. Unless it was thrown out. <laughs> well, I'm working on it. Oh, no, no, no. We're working on it. There have been a lot of headaches in this house, but only one headache medicine. Tylenol for fast relief of even tough headaches. Feeling pushed to the limit? Mom, my art project's due tomorrow. I brought home a ton of work. Can you drop me off at Amy's? We still have to paint the guest room tonight. So what's for dinner? Pull it all together with Manwich. The Heartburn Hotel. If you suffer persistent heartburn two days a week or more, despite diet change and treatment, it may be acid reflux disease. Prescription Prevacid can mean 24-hour relief from acid reflux disease. Prevacid turns off tiny pumps that produce acid. It has a low occurrence of side effects, such as diarrhea, abdominal pain, and nausea. Ask your doctor if Prevacid is right for you. So leave your heartburn behind, yeah! Look what you have! I wish I had one. Well, take this one. I got 11 more at home. Are you sure your husband won't mind? Yeah, not even his. The Pilot G2. 
Smooth Gel Ink, 12 vibrant colors, a comfortable rubber grip. Think in ink. Bonnie's toothpaste stopped fighting plaque before her first cup of coffee. But Colgate Total is different. It protects for 12 hours, even after eating and drinking. Aren't you glad you use Colgate Total? Colgate Total, 12-hour protection. Welcome to the Post Kitchens. 102, take six. Here's our baby. Cinna Cluster Raisin Brand. We wanted to make something that tasted like cinnamon raisin bread. We take raisins. Lots of raisins. Sprinkle on lots of cinnamon. We owe brand. This is a beautiful flake, isn't it? You got the cinnamon baked right into every cluster. It smells good. Mm. Cinna Cluster Raisin Brand. You hungry? A tremendous flavor explosion. That's when I lost my hair. <laughs> like it? Mm -hmm. Post Cinna Cluster Raisin Brand. A breakfast bonanza. Lysol presents Facts of Life. Fact. To a child, any food can be fast food. Fact. Cats don't come with breaks. Fact. No other wipe kills germs faster than Lysol sanitizing wipes. They kill 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds and are so convenient, they're even flushable. Fact. When training kids, it's hit or miss. Oops. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. CBS Wednesday, September 5th. The next great adventure is set to begin. 11 teams of two Are you ready? will race once around the planet. They'll face challenges. Those guys are fighting it out for second place. That could knock them out of the game. The Amazing Race premieres CBS Wednesday, September 5th. Now, you see how this works? You, me, and a big problem that just got smaller. Rose, if you can find a way to derail Craig, I would not only back worldwide, I would marry Lucinda. Oh, yes, I would. wow. <laughs> no, you're not her type. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the story of my life. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, cry me a river. Rich, handsome, smart. I'm sure you got a million girls lined up from wherever you came from. And yet, here I am. Hmm. Me too. Operation Derail Craig is on. <laughs> That's good. Well, Rose, look, I don't know about this, because uh, if you keep coming through and bailing me out like this, I'm going to have to find a better way than flowers to thank you, because I... Oh, the flowers. Oh, my... That's why I came here, to thank you for the flowers. I hear I'm rumbling off my mouth like a jukebox. They're beautiful. Thank you so much. I mean, they're like these creamy white, beautiful flowers. Oh, how do you know I love the roses? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Rose. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, you laugh all you want. I had this guy one time, he filled my entire apartment with birds of paradise. That's an ugly flower. Looks like he's going to bite you in the... every time you turn around. <laughs> well, Rose, look, I, I, I still want to take you out for your birthday dinner. Uh, oh, well, I thought you were just being polite. You know, like, no, we'll do lunch no, or... No, 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 I, I wrote it down. I signed it. Yes, you did, on that nice, beautiful card. Mm -hmm. Yes, the poison chocolates. I wouldn't have written it if I hadn't meant it. Oh, I know. But there is somebody out there who would write just about anything and not give a hoot. Can you walk me to my car? Yeah. That guard at the gate's gonna give me the hairy eyeball. Okay, well, okay? I'll, I'll introduce you. I, and you know what? I make reservations at someplace nice because if my hunch pays off, we're gonna have a lot to celebrate. All right. You're asking me to give you permission to leave town with my son? Well, it's only Chicago. You can still you can see him every single day if you want to, and weekends and holidays. He, he's your son. I would never keep you from him. Mm -hmm. And what about his mother? What if I miss her mucking up my life? Well, then I guess I'll have to drop by every once in a while with a bag of monkey wrenches. Well, if you're asking for my permission, I'll never give it. But if it's my blessing you want, you got it. Thank you. Oh, that must be for you, Lieutenant. Yes, Lieutenant Munson. Hal, I need you to get down here right away. The commissioner's here with IA. They're crawling all over Jack. Tell Jack I'll be right there. What's going on? Internal affairs. They're deposing Jack. Is he going to lose his job? 
I hope not. I'm heading down there. You want to come? It might help to have somebody in his corner. No. I, I don't want to confuse things any more than they already are. Do me a favor. Don't go anywhere for a couple of days. Give it some time. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. You. <laughs> Pancakes. Tomorrow morning. My place. <laughs> Okay, so we can wait a couple days, right? Not that it's going to change anything. You want me to call Carly? No. We're not together anymore. Whoa, sorry. I know you're having a hard time, but I thought once you saved your life... You... Happy ending. Jack, it could all work out. <laughs> In less than a year, I lost Julia, Holden, Luke, Carly, and now I might even lose my job. Makes, makes you think, doesn't it? Maybe I'm going about things all wrong. Right, fine. You had a hard year, but it wasn't your fault. Oh, some of it was. Julia, I really screwed that up. Carly, my job. I meant what I said in there. I blew it. Whatever they decide... All I'm saying is don't you give up. No, I'm not giving up, Margot. The only reason I'm cleaning out my desk is to keep me from running in there and begging those guys to let me keep my job. Because if I lose that, I got nothing left. It's all gone. Detective Snyder, we've reached a decision. There was once a little girl who had a great big birthday wish. And to make her wish come true, her mom gave her a magical birthday card from Hallmark. Inside was a game piece. She scratched it off and won a magical vacation for 25 friends to the Walt Disney World 100 Years of Magic celebration in honor of Walt's 100th birthday. How can you win? Look for specially marked packages of birthday magic cards everywhere Hallmark is sold. What do women say about Clairol Renewal 5X shampoos and conditioners? No wonder they're excited. Renewal 5X makes your hair up to five times stronger and 88% healthier. What do you think about that? Renewal 5X for hair that screams healthy. Grilled vegetables. The Farmers of Bird's Eye introduced Simply Grillin'. From the oven or grill, you get the delicious taste of grilled vegetables in one simple step. Simply Grillin', new from Bird's Eye. It's here. New Vaseline Intensive Care Renew and Protect Lotion with moisturizers plus retinol and UV protection for youthful looking skin all over. So bring on the birthdays with new Vaseline Intensive Care Renew and Protect. Get out, you scum. X14 Soap Scum Plus foams away scum. The plus, the smell is more than clean. It's herbal fresh. X14 Soap Scum Plus. Scum hates it. Noses love it. Air. It's in the air. Carefree, breathable panty liners keep you fresh and dry. They're the only ones with air spun, a unique layer that lets air through. Every day, be fresh. Be carefree. Papa loves mambo. Mama loves mambo. Look at him sway with it, getting so gay with it, shout no lay with it, wow. Mama loves mambo. Mambo, papa. Mama loves mambo. Mambo, mama. Don't get a rumba and don't get a samba. Papa loves the mambo tonight. Olivia's flirting with danger. If I don't sleep with you, then... The Harbor Project will blow up in your face. And she's falling. A deal is not a deal until it's closed. Right into the arms. I want you, Olivia. Of trouble. The answer is no! I don't understand that word. Now, what happens next is everything.
Well, look at you. Now, that's what I like to see, hard at work. Well, you're in a better mood. Uh, well, why not? Life's short. Can I get you anything? Why was Rose D'Angelo here? We're friends. She was very helpful during the trial. You sent her flowers. Yeah, I'm taking her to dinner, too. Imagine that. it's clear that Detective Snyder acted in what he thought was a responsible manner. However, the law was broken. And while he has proven a valuable member of this department, he withheld crucial evidence that resulted in the change of course of several investigations, and I needn't remind everyone of the amount of damage that that caused. Detective Snyder, you were hereby suspended for 30 days without pay, pending further investigation by Internal Affairs. When we reconvene, we'll decide whether you have a future with this department. You will now surrender your gun and shield to Lieutenant Munson. Commissioner, Detective Lieutenant, Snyder. Lieutenant. What do Yogi say? Deja vu all over again. Well, he also said it ain't over till it's over. Worked out for me, Jack. Maybe it'll work out for you. Not this time. I'll see you around. So why not give it a chance? Whoever she is, let her chase you. Okay, Katie, you're on. Do we speed things up a little? And the buildings go way up in the sky. And when you're on top of one, you can see for miles and miles, like you're a bird looking down at all the little people. And before you know it, all the bad memories start to go away. Jack? still my name yes what are you doing it's called penciling in an appointment for right now as a matter of fact and since you're gonna want to hear what I have to say they hung up huh? that's a mystery but we're not gonna get any calls like that in Chicago because nobody is gonna know us your daddy's gonna come and visit, though. I'm really glad he's okay about this. I was worried. Now, Auntie Molly, she's gonna be mad. And I don't blame her, really. After everything she's done for us, we're just gonna pack up and leave her? I don't have time for games, Rosie. Oh, I don't have time either. I'm a busy girl. So this suit that you're filing against Barbara and Paul Ryan, <clears throat> you're going to drop it. <laughs> and what? Do you want me to send Lucinda all that worldwide stock, too? Mm. Have a nice day. You're going to drop the suit. And yes, while you're at it, you can sell back all that stock. To me. To me. See how nice I can be when you cooperate? And why would I cooperate with you, Rose? Because you made a mistake. And I got you. Is that supposed to intimidate me or something? You're gonna have to be more specific. I don't have time for this. Uh, you want specifics? Be here tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Or what? You'll sit here and sip your fuzzy navel without uh, me? No, I'll call the cops. 
Don't think I won't do it. Be here tomorrow, 5 o'clock. Okay. Ah, very nice, Katie. Caterina Paretti, of the Tuscan Paretti. Signora. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> hey, Miss Walsh. It's Rose. You'll never guess who's back in town. Katie Frazier. I'm sure she knows what's going on with Lily and Simon. Now get down here and talk to her right now. Make a wish, man.